Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I am so excited to be back. I know that I just posted my video or my first video in two weeks on Monday, but that was a pre-filmed video before COVID hit my household and bronchitis and all that other mess, but I've been gone. MIA for two weeks. If you know, you know, we had COVID, it happened, I didn't, but situations ever. However, I wanna say thank you to all of you who did reach out to us, um, who reached out to me and said, you know, some positive thoughts and some prayers and all that for my family and my children. I really appreciate it. It does not go unnoticed, um, but I'm back. It's 2022, which is fucking exciting okay it's 2022 2022 so usually usually um, my first video of the year is a new year's resolution goals video if you will but since I have that video pre-filmed the declutter video I'll put it right here so you guys can check it out but this is technically my first filmed video in the new year I don't like using the word resolution because I feel like it's overplayed if that makes sense but they're kind of like my goals what I plan on doing, all of that. So this is my 2022 journal. I always get one every year. If you do not have a journal, I do recommend investing in a journal. This one was from Amazon. I think it was Amazon. I'll link it below for you guys. You can get them at Five Below. Honestly, you can get them at the dollar store. You can use a spiral notebook for a dollar if you need to. I do love these. It's just like really nice to journal and get all your thoughts down, especially if you're going through a lot, if you have a lot going on. But sometimes like you can't say the things you think because then people are like, oh, you're crazy or oh, you're kind of a bitch. So I just write them. So no one ever has to hear them. Anyways, so the first thing I'm doing is the $5 challenge. It's a $5 savings challenge. Basically, if you have no idea what it is, because I just learned what it is, to be honest, is you take $5 every week and you put it into a jar, $5 in cash. I mean, I guess you could put it into a savings account, but I think like if you have it card wise and accessible, you're more likely to spend it. So I'm doing cash, but you take $5 every week. So like the first week of January will be $5. The second week will be 10, third will be 15 etc I will link like a photo reference if you guys want me to down below it's something that's really I feel like simple more kind of achievable for the normal everyday person because I know there's a lot of them out there I've seen some of them that are like save like a hundred dollars this week 200 stop right there I don't mm -mm. I ain't got that kind of no I'm not that kind of quiche I do have five dollars though here or there to give away basically you wind up getting like six thousand eight hundred ninety dollars as long as you follow suit throughout the whole year things may happen where you can't put like on whatever week a hundred and fifty dollars in you may not be able to and you can just put in whatever you can basically it's just a way for me to start saving because I'm the type of person like once all my bills are paid once all my bills are paid okay let me clarify that before people are like you gotta pay your bills once all my bills are paid kids are taken care of food all that stuff yeah i will spend every penny in my bank account no penny gets left behind okay um it's just who i am it's who i've always been some would say it is an addiction it might get to that point but i just I, I think I can control it for the most part. Um, not really, no, I, sh I do struggle with shopping and spending money. But like I said, I'm not a saver. So I pay all my bills, that's 100% first, top priority. But then like the rest of it is fair game. So <laughs> comment down below, because I know I'm not the only one who thinks like that. I'm just the only one that's gonna say it out loud. So that leads me to my next, my next goal, if you will. I am doing, kind of like a no buy year I'm trying I'm really 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 going to try I've done no buys here on my channel before they were not successful um and those were just for a month this is for like the whole year so basically I've gone through what I spend consistently so like iced coffee energy drinks whatever I buy every single day I've cut out so I make my own coffee now. I don't spend four or five dollars on a coffee every day. My husband doesn't spend four or five dollars on a coffee every day. We make coffee at home and that's what we drink. And I will tell you, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks and you can't change my mind on that. But uh, so far, so good. Um, we are only day four into, uh, you know, the new year, but <laughs> it is what it is. We're putting the kids on a need only as well. They are not happy. Um, and I just had to make sure and clarify with them that they understand what a need versus a want is. And even up down to my six-year-old knows. Now my toddler, no. She's over here like, give me, 
give, where are my things? Mommy always buys me things when she goes to the store. So it's a little bit harder for her because she doesn't really understand. But for the most part, I told the kids, you know, we're working on getting a house. So, and that is actually one of my goals on here is to get a house. And in doing so, I have to really just be able to control my spending because sometimes I won't lie to you I will find any reason to buy something whether it be on Amazon whether it be at a regular store drugstore luxury it doesn't matter what is it if there's a will there's a way that's kind of like me okay so I find that I lean way more to emotional on shopping than is probably a healthy amount and it just like hit me and I was like no you know I just do it because it feels good like I'm not addicted to it, it just feels good and then he asked me, you know, the same question. Why do you think that, you know, an alcoholic um, drinks? Because it makes them feel good. But in my head, it was like, no, because they're addicted to it. But I never realized, like, the correlation, I guess, between the two. I do honestly feel like it is kind of, like, a problem that I have, but I'm working on it. I'm really just, like, starting to realize these things about myself and what I can do instead. And, like, I make jokes because that's just who I am. So, like, if I'm making fun of it on here or if I'm making fun of it on my Instagram, like, the other day, I took a screenshot of my face and I was like, what do normal people do when they're bored because this whole shopping thing has got me dead? Um... And I make jokes just because that's just kind of my humor. Uh, it makes me feel better, I guess. <laughs> I'm weird, I'm awkward, and just like, kind of like if I make a joke about it, it makes me feel better. Needless to say, um, I am not buying anything unnecessary. So I said working towards buying a house, which was one of my 10 to put on there. Um, that is one of our major goals, unfortunately. <laughs> I just don't know if it's gonna happen and that kind of makes me sad because there are just a lot of obstacles and things going on that are a little bit too personal that I just really don't want to talk about right now but um I may discuss like at a later date however I just really hope that we're able to do that there is nothing more that I want right now in life than to buy a home big enough for my family and have you know my family over for holidays and just a bigger house like this, this house is so small I'm not even kidding it's so small and I just I can't wait I know it's gonna happen I'm putting out into the universe I've been manifesting I've been it just it's going to happen I just have to be patient Which is being more positive I have being more positive be kinder to myself show myself more compassion and understanding and show myself grace so when I say that like my goal is basically um, a lot of the times I know I'm not alone in this uh, I know that a lot of people do this we will make a mistake and it's like just something that now if you make a big mistake obviously it may be different but I'm not talking about oh my gosh I broke something I'm talking about something that maybe you've been working working really hard on and focusing on or dedicating yourself to and you either you know get lazy and kind of don't do it this day or don't do it that way working out eating healthy whatever it is basically that you're trying to do and achieve consistency is key obviously discipline is great but we're gonna make mistakes we're human we're gonna make mistakes and it's, it happens, but I have a very big tendency of like making a mistake and then dwelling in it. So I find it hard to get myself out of like, it's okay, I made a mistake kind of thing and I will beat myself up. How can I be so stupid? How can I not do that? You're so lazy, you're dumb, you're, it's just, and it gets pretty bad. And I know like I'm not the only person, so this is why one of the things I wanted to talk about was, was just being kinder to yourself, showing yourself grace. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to not work out that Tuesday that you were tired. It's okay to eat a slice of pizza because you didn't pull the chicken out in enough time and you have to eat and you have to go to bed. I just want you guys to understand why this is important to me because it's I think that a lot of the times this applies to almost everybody that we're not perfect we make these mistakes I'm gonna buy shit that I don't need and I know that I know that I will not have 365 days where I stick to this no buying unnecessary shit um plan and I have to just be able to not beat myself up about it and not dwell I have to just realize you know will it matter in five days will it matter in five years will it matter in 50 so on and so forth okay so that's where I'm at right now like one of my biggest goals is just like kind of like self-love just loving myself more being more gentle if I can be empathetic 
to other people like hey you know give them advice like it's okay you know we we all mess up blah 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 i should be able to do that to myself and i do find that to be something i struggle with a lot of people do so just take this as advice and not just a goal or resolution but just to be kinder show yourself the empathy and kindness that you show to other people so the next thing is it kind of rolls into like the house and not buying stuff I don't need um, is working on paying down my debt. Uh, I know that's like everybody's resolution like once a year. It's okay. It's fine. Um, if you don't have any debt, how's it feel to be God's favorite? It's fine. Um, but that is a major goal I have. I will tell you in my shopping escapades, I sometimes look at credit cards like um they don't matter swipe swipe okay okay i have built quite a bit of debt in credit cards um they're not to the point like i'm not paying them they're behind nothing like that it's just a lot you know they i got older they gave me more money i said more money more more money and i make good money and my husband makes good swipe away and then you realize what a debt you have created and you're like Oh my god oh my god oh my god so i'm not using my credit cards on anything unnecessary well i use them but only to pay them automatically or right away because it's really good to use your credit cards don't not use your credit cards that's not what i'm saying i'm not a financial advisor in any way that takes me actually to my other point i love doing hauls for you guys i love doing they are my favorite not only because you love them but because i like to buy things and youtube has become kind of like an excuse to spend a ridiculous amount of money on things that I don't need. Now, if there is a beautiful new product coming out that I want, I, I will buy. I now have a budget kind of set for YouTube, almost like an investment. Like this is how much I'm willing to invest in my YouTube per month. I'm not gonna say what it is, it doesn't matter. Um, it's a decent amount. But for instance, like the new Jaclyn Hill skin tint that's coming out, I want that, I'm getting that. That comes out of the budget for January that I put out there for my YouTube channel because I do want to be able to stay up to date with you guys. But if I'm being realistic, one of the things I have on here is use more makeup that I already own and buy less makeup. So it kind of ties into kind of like everything that I have going on here. But the reason if you're not new to my channel, then you know, I've been decluttering. I've been doing a lot of decluttering. I just decluttered my eyeshadow palettes and I still have a crap ton. So for me, it all boils down to, it kind of woke me up, like how much makeup I'm getting rid of. Not because like it's expired. I mean, some of it is, but for the most part, it's because I don't use it. Or as I'm going through the declutter videos and there are things that are still in packages, palettes, 50, 60, a hundred and some dollar palettes still in packages, not used. If they're not in palette packages, they've only been swatched. I understand that we as people on the internet love to watch people buy stuff. We love to watch them unbox it and play with it for the first time, but then it kind of just gets sit there. It just kind of sits there and it gets wasted. And um, I just don't want to, I don't want to keep consuming or producing more waste than is required for my, just me. So I want to try to use more makeup that I already have, do looks with them, do kind of like different things, whether I'm showing you collections, I'm showing you my favorite drugstore, my favorite high end. I feel like there are so many videos that I really like I really can do with what I already have. And if I'm being 100% transparent, I just feel like it's so much more relatable to you guys if I'm using what I already have. Think about it. We do love a good haul. There will be hauls in the future on my channel. So calm down. You know, I love them. Um, but when you watch somebody doing a haul, three times a week. It becomes not relatable because most people can't go to Ulta or TJ Maxx or Sephora or wherever three times a week and buy a couple hundred dollars worth of beauty products that are really just unnecessary. And that's the thing is like my biggest kind of thing on my channel is I want you guys to understand that I'm just like you. Like I'm not, I'm a normal fucking person okay um maybe not normal it just depends on what your normal is but i'm not this big balling california living superstar and i think that i a lot of the times i let bigger youtubers and what they have been able to accomplish um kind of get to me and where i feel like i need to be at this level but i really just i that's not my goal I want to make a beautiful community with, a, with some people and hang out and have fun that was the whole reason 
I created this channel and I just needed to humble myself like I don't need all that you know I need to use what I have I need to like kind of do like a shop my stash um, do the pan project anything like that I think I'm gonna start doing so if you have any video ideas that are like not brand new reviews or whatever comment them down below and let me know what videos you want with makeup I already have I'm not saying that I'm never gonna buy new makeup again I'm getting the new Jaclyn Hill makeup I just think I need to pull back on how much I'm spending on beauty products because it's just not realistic and I don't want younger people to hop on here 13 14 years old and feel like you know they don't have all of this makeup they don't have all I just don't it's just not realistic and that's kind of not my vibe my vibe is I am 100% relatable <laughs> I have debt <laughs> I have financial up obligations obligations i i just want you guys to understand that i'm not like this completely crazy rich person the so. next three things are kind of all going to be tied into the same larger situation so the first thing is posting more on my social medias and being more consistent mm -hmm. hi i'm inconsistency in the flesh uh <laughs> It's just who I am. Uh, if you know me at all, I'm an inconsistent bitch, okay? <laughs> Not just on YouTube, in life, at work, at home, with my... I'm inconsistent. You can never rely on me being anywhere on time or doing something continuously exactly the same way. That's just who I am. A lot of the times that rumble, that kind of rolls into the letting you guys down because I'm not uploading when I say I'm gonna upload and then it kind of just, I beat myself up because I'm like, I'm supposed to be uploading. I'm trying to do this for a living. Like this is my shit and I'm messing it up. So I'm trying to be more consistent, um, not just with social media, maybe. <laughs> Maybe I should be more consistent in life general, but you know, we'll get the baby steps. We're gonna start with YouTube and Instagram and then like get to maybe being on, on time to work every day. That'd be a good idea. That's consistent. <laughs> Back to what I was saying. So, and I do wanna start posting more on Instagram. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, I do have a Facebook. Uh, it's not under Jamie B because it is more of a personal thing for me I guess kind of like my own private space on Facebook or on social medias It's the one place you can't really access me if that makes any sense if you add me and I don't know you I do not add you back. Um, it's not because I'm being mean. It's just like my own private space I have Twitter, but honestly, I don't even fucking know how to work Twitter like I try and it just doesn't I don't know I've given up on Twitter sometimes I'll just tweet shit but <laughs> I'm just like who am I tweeting that to because I've only got like 160 followers and then the next thing is TikTok. I've kind of made that almost like a personal TikTok. You can follow me if you want to. It's gonna be, it's more like lifestyle, like just about me, my kids, my life. It has makeup, it has beauty stuff, but I'm just really, I'm not gonna be a famous TikToker. That's not in the mix for me. It's not something I enjoy to do. It's not something I'm passionate about. I love watching TikToks. I love making cute, fun TikToks, but I am not like a avid Addison Rae, Charlie D'Amelio, all that. I'm not, that's not me. That's not me. So you're more than welcome to follow me over there if you want. I would love that. Um, but it's just more of a laid back vibe. It's not a lot of makeup, but there is makeup. Like if you go down, you'll see like most of what I started was makeup. And then I realized like it wasn't my jam and then kind of went more personal with my kids or whatever, just having fun. And I think like that's my biggest thing that I like about TikTok is it's fun. So when I create it or I start to blend it in with my YouTube career and obligations, it kind of takes the fun out of it. So I've just established that TikTok is just like going to be my personal thing, but you're more than welcome to join so if you are on tiktok i will put my tiktok name across the screen make sure you follow me over there you say hi in one of the comments or dm me um but it's kind of that's just my jam over there it's a very laid back vibe it's not like a it's not like a, i'm not promoting things it just is what it is however my instagram and my youtube will be getting kind of like a revamp if you will um i have redone my banner i don't know if you guys have seen it if you haven't make sure you go check out my actual channel subscribe while you're there if you're not already but i have a new banner i have a new end screen i put on this one i haven't changed the background color of the end screen just the photo itself i'm, I'm learning and adding things i am posting regularly on instagram i post ig stories daily um, multiple times a day those are, again, are kind of makeup, kind of personal, kind of just me being whatever, fucking around. Um, my posts on Instagram are usually daily. I try to get at least three a week up, but I'm not as consistent with that and I need to be. Here on YouTube, I do three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And I'm also gonna be adding YouTube shorts. I don't think that they're gonna be like these epically like awesome makeup tutorials because I find those hard to do within 60 seconds and maybe I'm just 
not great at that but it's just not my vibe but maybe I will show you guys like top five drugstore brands I like top five eyeshadow colors I like current favorites that kind of thing just kind of doing like a 60 second situation go so. over and follow me on my Instagram I will put that across the screen right here so you can follow me and those are kind of my two most like beauty influencer guru content creation platforms i am on all platforms i'm just not active on very many so check those out my goal is to be able to do this full time if i'm being transparent with you guys um i would love to be able to quit my daytime job and do this 100 percent of the time i think that there is nothing more in this life that i would love to do than youtube full-time um and it may never be a possibility it may be a possibility a long time from now I don't know I just want to really focus on growing and creating a community and doing this as my employment like imagine waking up now I'm not gonna lie to you my day job is not terrible I do love it um it's very easy I get paid decent money but imagine waking up and just knowing that the thing you love and are so passionate about is the thing that you get to do to make money you make your living off of doing the thing that you love. It's just insane to me. That kind of rolls into the next goal, which is working on getting on at least two PR lists, okay? I know, I know that kind of sounds like that's a goal. It is a goal. It is such a goal. I am currently on three PR lists. It's Pixie, Makeup Revolution, and um, Pop Beauty, which I love almost all their products. So I'm kind of glad that those are the PR lists that I'm on because they are the products that I like and they're inexpensive brands. But I really, really, really want to get on like two major PR lists. What PR lists do you think I deserve to be on? That sounds good. Are we thinking like St. Laurent? Yeah, no, okay, me either. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on, but that is, it's a small goal, but it's also a big goal. Like it's just something that I really just wanted to write down. So the next one is to start to take care, better care of my body mentally and physically. Um, and that kind of rolls in to the next one being quit smoking. So I guess those are out, I'm done that one. Obviously quitting smoking is one of them. I really, 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 want to quit smoking. I know you're like, if you want to quit smoking, then quit smoking. It's an addiction like any other. So it's hard. And the worst part is, is like, I know that I can do it because I've done it before. I'm going to work on quitting smoking, even if I have to try every single week, even if I fail every single week and I just keep trying because one day I'm not going to fail. I'm going to be successful in it and I'm going to quit smoking and I'm going to better my physical health. I'm going to better a lot of things okay and kind of extend my life which would be nice you know i want to live a long time i'm also working on eating better and taking healthier foods i'm not going on any crazy fad diet so don't ask me what are you doing i'm eating my carbs i'm eating my sugar and i'm having a blast but i'm also going to be doing it within moderation and just disciplining my body to know when to stop when to eat all that stuff so i literally I feel like physical fitness and weight loss is on the bottom of my list of priorities for my goals. There's just so many other things I'd rather waste my time on than worrying about if I'm too fat for the world or not. I just don't care. Um, it is what it is. If you think I'm fat, that's fantastic. Move on. But um, I just, it's literally on the bottom. So it's, it's like the lot. I guess I'll put it there because I have to, you know, most people put it there. My last goal is acceptance. Hmm, bet you didn't think I was going to go there. And what do I mean by that? Um, accepting what is, accepting my life, accepting that currently I am not in the house of my dreams, accepting that currently my YouTube career is not prosperous or huge or whatever. I don't know. Um, accepting that there are things in my life that I can't change. There are things that I can change, but they take time. There are things that I can change and I can change them immediately. And I just don't feel like it at the moment. Okay. Accepting what is now. I have a hard time with trying to deal with future problems that don't exist. And I need to stop doing that. And I think that causes me a lot of anxieties because I try to, I try to fix problem solve things that haven't happened 
that you know that I, I'm afraid that we're gonna occur or if I do this it kind of like snowball effect situation that is my biggest goal is just accepting accepting that I don't have it all together accepting that I cannot spend thousands of dollars on unnecessary items this year <laughs> accepting that I have debt and I have to pay it off, accepting that I do have physical health issues that I have to deal with and I have to work on, accepting that there's a lot of things that I have to change if there are goals that I have. I just want to be able to accept what is um, and not try to, I try to change it, I guess, like change it in a good way, but like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't, it sounded really good on paper, but now that I'm saying it out loud, I'm like, that kind of sounds stupid. But you get what I'm saying. I just want to accept my life the way that it is and appreciate it for what it is. Um, I guess maybe that's my last goal, to be appreciative, to appreciate the things that you take for granted every day, that I take for granted every day. Breathing. Let's appreciate. <laughs> Round of applause for breathing. Okay, I'm alive. That's great, my family's alive. I just want to start to accept and appreciate my life and the things that I have. I know that kind of sounds like mm, emotional and lame, but I honestly think that a lot of the times we forget that, you know, our life is not perfect by any means. Like if I had time, maybe one day, if I had the emotional emotional strength, I guess, um, to sit down and tell you where I've, where I've been versus where I am now two different people <laughs> um so I just need I need a moment <clears throat> I just need to accept who I am how far I've come and appreciate what I have and yeah just be thankful so those are my goals for 2022 <laughs> and also my tears. <laughs> um, I did not see it leading to that, but I hope these kind of help you make good goals, great decisions, great choices. And you want to know what, if you have a hundred goals, I hope you meet them. I hope you meet every single goal that you have this year. I don't care how crazy or how extravagant it is. I really hope you meet every single goal. If you have zero goals, that's fucking awesome and I hope you enjoy having absolutely no goals, no stress to have to push yourself to do these things. It's okay. It doesn't matter if we have goals or we don't. It just doesn't. It's just a fun thing to talk about, to be honest, to share like the things in our lives that we want to fix or do better or, you know, change. But if you are absolutely 100% content on where you are and what you're doing, man, I'm here for it and I absolutely applaud you. So before you guys go, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video. And I want you guys to comment down below and tell me what is one goal you have for this year. If you don't have any goals, because some people haven't written any down, they don't, they're not, like, I'm not doing it. Um, if you don't have any goals, what's one achievement or one thing that happened that was amazing in 2021. What happened? Something had to have happened. So, um, and if nothing good has happened all year for you, I am so sorry. 100%. So, I love you guys. I am sorry I got mopey at the end, but these are my goals, my resolutions. Please send some positive vibes my way because this year is not going to be easy by any means. But as always, guys, I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me every single time I upload, every single time I post. I love you so much, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!